All right, so we're jumping in for our second week in charge of McLaren. The next course we'll be going to is Jeddah, and the first race did not go well. Both drivers qualified at the back of the grid, and we struggled to get them up into the points. So after our first week, we have scored zero points. Let's hope we can improve, get some more confidence in the team. All right, so our performance targets this time around. Last time around, we we thought we were going to do much better than we did, and we set our own targets, which ended up losing us a bit of money. So this week, we're not going to adjust them. We're just going to go with what's there, and then we won't lose anything extra if we make mistakes like we did last time. The one difference this week is we'll have control of the drivers throughout the whole weekend. Um, whether that's a good thing or not, because I feel like my input actually messed us up in the race. So we shall see. Crofty, <laughs> we're not relaxing one bit. We messed up so much last week. Okay, we're gonna send both drivers out for P1. They're on softs. See how the cars are faring. I actually still think we might allow... Yeah, I think what we might do is we might actually allow simulation through Friday practice where we get a bit more confident and then we'll take charge when it comes to qualifying in the race. The one problem with doing that is if I identify something in P1, we aren't fixing it. So this could either help us or hinder us, but we're going to try it out. All right, so how did we actually do in practice? Lando's car is up in 13th. Daniel's is in 16th. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. They've both had a solid number of laps. Leclerc's fastest followed by Max. No surprise up there either. Okay. Uh, I skipped a menu by accident. I uh, don't know what the other menu said. Okay, we're just going to go for qualifying. Okay, so... Jeez, the guys are not, conf not confident in the cars whatsoever. So... That probably down to the fact that we didn't try and sort the car set up for them when we had the opportunity to. Um, wow. Brakes. Uh, so what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to get it in that, within that balance, but it doesn't look. All right. Then this is going to be an untested, untested. But apart from straights, it should hopefully put us in a better position. The problem is we are in qualifying. So we do kind of need the pace on the straights, but I'm going to try it. It's completely untested. That's half the problem. Um, all right. And we're going to give Lando a different kind of setup as well. Could be quite interesting. Lando, I think if I recall, we put the new parts on Lando. So he has, does he have, I think he has different suspension as, as Daniel's car. Yeah. So he's got the new suspension. So we're also going to put in my different car setup, obviously based on that. But if this weekend goes well, we'll try and get another part for Daniel's car. Um, so the even again all right they're both gonna go out on softs see how we go on and qualify them we are we're gonna manage it although i feel like we probably shouldn't because it went so bad last time but we're gonna try and manage qualifying all right we got some cars on track let's go follow suit all right both cars are exits in the pit lane go get a feel for this new car setup i've given we're gonna try and give him an extra lap or two although we probably shouldn't because of fuel and it's not you know it's qualifying but i'm interested to see how this new car setup goes certainly on norris's car because that's got the new parts but equally we don't want daniel to be struggling in the race so whilst we probably should have done this in practice we're gonna do some little adjustments all right on board with norris let's take a lap okay so because we struggled to manage both cars last time out we're gonna just manage the one car so for this qualifying session, we're going to look after Daniel's car and we're going to allow the team to look after Lando's car. All right, come around. Norris has put a 130 in. Daniel's just behind him, actually. Only point one behind him. So he put a solid lap in there, actually. All right, and he's back in. Okay, that's a good first lap. Good first lap. We're topping the timing boards. Although we've not had any of the uh, the top teams out yet. Looks like Red Bull are just going out for the first. Daniel's come back in. Lando is currently still on track, but he is coming in now. Okay, Science gone out. He's posted fastest time. Let's have a quick look at Daniel's car. So we're going to leave him on the softs. Not going to change any car parts, but we're going to change his front wing angle to try and give him a bit more traction. 
We're keeping an eye out for Bottas going back on track. When he does, we're going to send out the guys as well, and we're going to use him as a marker to determine roughly when we should go out. All right, what I hadn't realized is I hadn't actually done the configurations. So we're in a bit of sticky ground. We're going to send Lando's car out how it was. We're going to try and adjust the compound and front wing angle on Daniel's car. If we've got time, we're going to send Lando out now. He's already got sixth, but I just want to try and put a safe lap in because you're looking down the pack, you've got a bunch of people that could potentially push us down. All right, let's see how Lando's getting on. Okay, and we're going to send Daniel out too. Okay, so the team's looking after Lando. I'm looking after Daniel again. We're going to keep that the same. All right, Daniel, come on. All right. Okay, so we didn't quite get the lap we wanted. The guys are in 9th and 11th, so hopefully they don't drop out of the order. Oh, we just we, we just survived elimination, but we're into Q2. We're into Q2 for the first time this season. So I'll, I'll take that as a victory already. Okay, so Lando's a lot more confident in his car. Daniel isn't. His problem is it's trying to get... It's, it's just not great how it's... Yeah, it's just not great for him right now. We're going to send him out on used softs as well, I think. I'm going to keep that the same. Lando's going to go out on used softs initially too. Let's see how we get on. All right, we're going to send him out for the first lap. Got a bit of traffic. We got science in front of us is not great, but we'll see what we can do. And we are going to control Daniel's car once again. All right, come on. I have a solid lap from you both. All right, how are we getting on? Come on. Oh, okay. Daniel up into third. And Lando's sitting in fourth. Okay. That should hopefully help with Daniel's um, feel for the car. Maybe that front wing change is actually making it... Uh, front wing angle change is making a bit of a difference from now. All right. Both guys back in the pits. Yeah, he's a, he's a lot more confident in it now. He probably would have been even more confident if we, if we hadn't adjusted it mid-session. Okay. I kind of... We need to get into the top 10. The next one, we are going to put him out on fresh softs. We've still got one set of soft save for the race but i'd rather get into q3 and start in a solid position than go out in q2 and have to make even more way up the pack so we're going to swap to fresh softs ready for the next run we're also going to send them out for two flying laps instead of the one just to see if it helps the tires come to life a bit more all right well, let's get the guys back out on track they've got six minutes they need to do two flying laps should have time we should have time uh session we're going to allow both drivers to be on automatic so it's in the game's hands if we get into q3 all right norris is on his personal personal best laps here putting two two green sectors we need to get into the 129s 130s i think he's going to be just outside again it's going to be close 130 oh no oh no he has he's got up to ninth something's happened to magnuson uh daniel's dropped down to 11th that's the balance isn't it you know you gotta try and balance your two cars but Norris has got clean air, which is the difference. Daniel's got a car between. All right, made it to the line. Norris is another personal best lap here. Putting in great times. 120s, 124. Daniel couldn't get out of the drop zone, so Daniel goes out in Q2. Norris is in the top 10, but it'll all depend on who else is on flying laps and where they end up. Sadly, both drivers are out, now out in Q2. But this is the first time we've got into Q2, so... I'm pleased with that, even if the uh, even if the bosses that be may not be. All right, it's race day. So Max qualified the fastest. Sadly, the guys didn't get out of Q2, but it's much better than last week. We have made improvements as a team. So we're going to go into the race and hope we can continue to improve. For the length of the race, we're going to leave Lando on automatic so the game and the team can look after him i'm going to try and look after daniel this week let's see how that goes down all right let's do this oh wait no i do have to control norris in the race oh no oh no okay right we're controlling both drivers again let's hope we don't mess it up this time we're gonna tell them they need to be using the battery for not a lot initially just get some clean air let's work out where we're at so we've got Daniel in front. We need to be setting a decent pace in this first section. I want I want overtakes into the first the first portion of the race. So both guys have been told put the foot down, top pace, and let's use the overtakes. Let's try and get some positions in the first few laps. To be fair, I think this is probably how last week's race 
went down <laughs> went a bit terribly but we're gonna try it again because it's what i'd do if i was in a car although not one of these just playing Forza. so yeah let's see how we get on all right daniel and snowder oh nicely done nicely done some, some cracky racing for daniel here he's going for it he is really going for it let's go let's go bulb with him for a little bit let's check this out DRS has been enabled. We've got Norris within DRS zone of Sonoda going for the overtake. Oh, has he made it stick? No, Sonoda might get him back on the outside. No, he's done it. He's done it. Right. We don't want the guy squabbling. So we are going to tell Daniel that if Norris looks like he's going to come past, let him pass because he's got the faster car. All right. He's moved over for us. All right. Norris is really putting the times in here. Ricardo needs to switch to defend because Sonoda is right behind him. Oh, oh massive lockup from Alonso. He's crashed out. Oh, no. Oh, yes. He's crashed out. All right. So we're under yellow flags right now. We just drop the pace back and we'll harvest on the yellow because we can't overtake. The yellow has just gone out. All right, Norris. Norris making a massive move on Magnussen there. All right, we were right to let him through. He is absolutely flying right now. Gonna get him to harvest his battery a bit so we could try and take over someone else in a minute. And Ricardo is coming up to Magnussen as well. So let's allow him to attack again. Yellow flags have gone. Jump on board. Are we gonna get an overtake here? Oh. This is tight. This is tight because Magnussen is on norris as well we're just going to tell him that he can use his ers for defense if he needs it but keep the pace up all right ricardo is falling back game. we need to get him on the overtakes just gonna have norris harvest his battery and then we're gonna push and try and get him into the top 10 daniel we're gonna need him to do the same we're gonna need him to harvest his battery slightly because he's gonna need it to get overtakes problem he's got is the pack here is so bunched up to try and get past one he's gonna get past two unless they split up a bit though we want norris to be pushing we might have to we might have to just get him to nah it's not we we want no magnus and tucker's lando getting back no sonoda's going for it as well no this is not good this is not good all right get sonoda at bay but magnuson has overtaken us Come on, get Magnussen back. Oh, oh, oh. Thought he was going to go for it on that corner then. All right, come on, Lando. Wait for the DRS. You've got him easy. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, has he made it stick? Nice. Oh, ho, ho. they were close to touching there. They were close to touching there. All right. We should have him down into, uh, into turn one. We only got 10% battery though for overtakes. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, go, 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 go. Ah, I can make it stick. All right, the battery's drained. We're going to get in balance, but we're going to tell him he needs to hold cars back. All right, where is going on with Daniel these days? All right, he's... He's in a bit of a sticky situation. He's got full to get past there. Um, what strategy is Daniel on? All right, we reckon we can get 45 laps on the hard. Let's try something. Let's bring Daniel in, put him on the hards because he's, he's not getting past this traffic. All right, Norris has clear air now. Magnuson's really pulled away. I don't want to put Norris on to hards though because he does have the faster car. So I kind of don't want to experiment with that on him. We could get 32 laps out of a fresh set of mediums. So let's see if we can push this to lap 16 and then we'll try and bring him in. All right. Daniel's coming in the pit. So we're going for one stop strategy on Daniel. We're going to try and get him to the end of the race on hards. Bring him in early so he's not sat in traffic. It will drop his back, but everyone else is going to have to pit. All right. And then just get him to like balance his drive for a little bit. We have dropped him to the back, so he ain't going to be pleased, but we're trying something, whether it'll work or not. All right. If Norris is going to make this work, we're going to have to we have to pick up the pace a bit, but still keep fuel usage balanced. We're going to keep we're not going to we're not going to harvest because obviously it'll slow us down. So we're going to drop it into we need to catch Magnuson. We're going to use deploy and we're going to get Ricardo to deploy his as well just to try and catch them up to uh, the next person. Lando wasn't able to catch Magnussen. If anything, he's dropping back, which makes me think, yeah, his, his tires are a bit warm, but like, I'm not quite sure where we're losing pace on that car. Um, Daniel has been able to catch Latifi. So we're going to let Daniel use his ERS to try and get an overtake into the corner. Oh, ho, ho, he's made that stick. That was a great move. That was a great move. 
All right, yeah, his tie's gonna be getting a little warm. Yeah, let's see the replay on that one. Let's check it out. So nice. Oh, tight. Got him. Sweet. All right, Ricardo. How? Uh, we gotta. We remember. We gotta get 40 laps out of these tires, so we gotta look after them. Harvest your battery, please. Also, uh, yeah. Um, we're gonna drop your pace back as well whilst you're harvesting. Norris has just had snow to pass him we might go for a two stop on norris actually put him out on mediums and then we'll bring him oh, we've not got fresh softs for the end though we've got 87 percent softs all right let's try this let's go because what tires are we on now these ones i mean they've got 11 laps left on them but the tire rubber is very low all right switch into the mediums given the life we've got on our tires improve our lap times i'm gonna bring norris in next lap it's probably a bit early, but we're going to go for a two-stop on Norris. So we shall see how that goes. And we're just going to get him to drop the pace, harvest as he comes in, and then on his outlap, give it everything he's got. All right, outlap, give it everything you got. See what kind of time he can do on these fresh mediums. All right, personal best in the se middle sector. Ricardo's taking the Latifi. Let's check it out. Where do you do it? Into a corner again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He made that look pretty easy, actually. Well done, well done. All right, Lando's catching the back of Latifi now, and he's got Daniel as well. He's on a different strategy. Daniel's playing... Whoa, 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 whoa. That was not good. That was not good. Daniel moved over to let us through and lost a place to Latifi. He is not going to be happy about that. Lando, you go put some solid laps in. Alban is your next target, five seconds ahead. I'm already starting to feel like this hard strategy wasn't the right move for Daniel's car, but we're, we're still going to try and make it work. Just got to hope everyone else goes on two stops. Or certainly the back of the pack go on two stops. Oh, 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 oh. Daniel took Latifi position back. Nice. Okay, he's four seconds behind Norris. All right, Norris is coming up on the pack. They hopefully should start pitting in a little moment. I do want him to try and get through this pack if he's can though, because he's dirty air right now. So let's see if he can use the IRS to potentially get some overtakes. It's going to be tough though, because the pack's so bunched, he's literally got to pass and sit in the gap. Go be smart about where he tries it as well. Come on. Come on, Lando. Oh, this is tough. Stroll and Vettel clashing themselves a bit further up. All right, we got past Alex. No, we haven't. He's regained the position. All right, we're just going to... We're going to get him sent to deploy rather than overtake. And let's see if he can just get past them on pure pace. Got to be careful with everything. Not just the tyre. Oh, he's going for the outside. See, this is a problem because they're so bunched and scrapping. It is tough to get around them. They're, they're, they're really holding us up here. Problem is because we can't get past them. All right, I think what we're going to do, we're going to harvest for a few laps on both cars. And then we're going to try and push. Daniel should... Yeah, Daniel's okay, right behind this pack as well. Like, literally, we're all bunched up. We need these guys to start going in for pit stops and releases. Then when releases, we'll just go full full pace. All right, the leaders are starting to pit now. They're pitting on lap 22, so they're going to come out of mediums and go to the end. They're only on one, stra uh, one stop strategies. It looks like no one attempted a two stop, so... Point Daniels out on hard was probably the wrong decision. Hopefully, once these guys hit, we can just get the guys both to put the foot down, though, and potentially make some positions up as they pit. It's Albon and Stroll that are holding us up the most. All right, they're coming in. Come on, Norris, you need to get past Vettel. We need to be getting back up to Magnussen. The problem is, Daniel needs to take Norris because they're so bunched, and he has done. Oh, but then the problem is if them two start scrapping, then we're just going to lose time. We need Vettel to go in. When's his pit stop? Come on, because we can't take him on track right now. Oh, we might. We might. That is a big move. That was a big move. Okay, can Daniel do the same? Or is Vettel going to take us back going into the corner? Come on, Daniel. Come on. Vettel's staying out again. All right, we're going to need to watch out into that first corner. He might go for something. All right, we took him too. We've took him too. All right. Great move. That's what it was. Absolutely great move. All right, you got clean air. Keep pushing. We ended up putting Norris on the two stops strategy, and it's not working out for us on these mediums. So what we're going to try and do is we've got a used set of softs probably get us about 20 laps we're gonna come in just after the 30th lap although we will lose time we're probably gonna come out at the back again but the problem is with 
the current condition of the tires and the current pace were projected not to make it to the end of the race if we stay on mediums regardless if we try and conserve and what we try to do with daniels is we're trying to keep him in a one stop to the end of the race so we're letting lando basically burn through the what is left on these mediums although i do want some big pace when he comes out on the softs so Let's put a couple balance laps in. The fuel is the one that I'm the most worried about because I can't tell with the graphic you get given whether that will take us to the end of the race or not. I think the white is the, where the projected is, but it's going to be close. It's going to be close on that one, I think. I think the triangle where it says minus 1.4 laps is basically how short I'm going to be fuel at the moment. All right. No, it's just struggling on these mediums. I'm going to send him out on the used softs that should get us 21 laps. Let's see if this works. We're trying the best to get Daniel to the end of the race on the hards he's on. He's not had a great race, don't get me wrong. It wasn't an exciting one for him, but that is what we're trying to do over in that side of the garage. So Norris is back out. He's in 17th. His ERS is charged and he's one second behind Vettel on fresher softs. That should get him to the end of the race, but we're going to be so, so careful with them because the drop off on these will be huge if we go full attack so we're going to try and get him some positions back potentially or certainly past Vettel and then we're going to let him coast sadly we have messed up the strategy again this week and <laughs> we're not getting any points but we're learning we're learning that's what it's all about easy overtake for Lando there all right on your fresher tires let's see how far back up we can get you we are we're about 40, maybe six, maybe a minute off the pace here, actually. We're uh, we're a long way off. No, not quite, not quite, but we're a long way off. Mechanics are worried that we are not going to get Lando to the end of the race. He's on minus one lap right now. So he's going to fall slightly short. So we need to try and recover some of that fuel projection whilst still try to chase down Magnuson. All right, looking at projections for the tire wear, we ain't getting Norris to the end of the race. He's got nine laps. These tire. tires are not going to do nine laps. So, although we do want to push for Magnussen, we're going to have to we're going to have to back off a bit. We might have got away with the early stop on uh, on Daniel's car. Actually, he should get to the end of the race now, which actually shows us that we probably need to think more about the long term strategy initially. Because this one, we didn't select a strategy going into the race. We did it on the fly. Whereas normally the team will give us a suggestion on what they think we should do. All right, we, we're we risking it. We're risking it. We don't want to bring Norris in for another stop. But he's only got 20% on his tires again. This strategy has massively failed. And we just need to do anything to get that car home. We're not going to get in the points. Not by a long shot but we want to show that we can at least stay where we qualified right daniel actually looks like his tire projection would get us to the end of the race he's certainly got the fuel left to do it they both have to be fair fuel wise they're fine it's the tires that we have slight issue with so we're just gonna have to get ask the guys to um safely bring these cars home so we don't want a tire blowout right at the end to to mess us up all right, I've got warnings on both sides of the garage that these tires aren't going to last. they got two laps to make it work. We're really clutching with Lando's car. we got 5%. Daniels will get there. Daniels has got loads. Daniel can have some fun at the end of the lap. You choose it all. Lando's, however, we have got a bit of an issue. He's got 4%. He's only on lap 48 as well. He's got two laps to do with 4% tires. All right. <laughs> I'm slightly worried that we might actually get a bit of a blowout here. They're so close. That's projected use, though. It is projected use. 1%. Oh, my days. All right. Science is one. Congrats. Congrats. We, however, are limping home. Uh, tire wear is on 1%. Oh, 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 oh. That tire's gone. The tire's gone. Come on, Norris. Come on. Get, get over the line. All right. We made it just. Tires were coming. <laughs> completely fried there we came on 15th oh my days that was not good that was not good uh our actual race strategy not taking any advice from the mechanics was the worst decision we made we completely fried both cars 
That was not good. But not good at all. <laughs> I'm going to get fired all. next week. I think that's pretty sure. Here. I think that's pretty sure. Okay, so once again, that did not go very well in the race. I really need to get used to in-race strategy. And we're probably going to need to look at these car setups. I think Lando still has the better car setup. It was a strategy in the race that let him down. So we're going to look at doing the same modifications to Daniel for the next race. But yeah, keep an eye out for the next session of F1 Manager 2022 on the channel soon. I'll see you in a bit.